What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, I got to talk about it. Seven-time Hall of Fame trainer and former fighter, Freddie Roach, had some interesting things to say to rival trainer, Abel Sanchez, about his fighter, Triple G. As you guys know, Freddie Roach is training his fighter, Miguel Cotto, for probably Cotto's biggest fight in some time, maybe since Sergio Martinez. Um, but this fight is probably bigger based on the buildup and the failed negotiations previously and the magnitude and star power of both fights. So what Freddie Roach was basically saying is that a fight with Cotto and Triple G is possible in the future, but Triple G got to get his weight up. Now, let me read what, what Freddie Roach actually said. He says, the fight is possible. However, I have, I have to say that some time ago in Santa Fe Springs, I met Abel Sanchez and we discussed the possibility of Cotto Golovkin fight. He said to me, well, you have the last word to give the okay on that fight. And I said, if you manage to raise your numbers to make a good pay-per-view, it can be done. Because the reality is this, Triple G is not that well known in the United States. He is a great fighter and I have no doubt about that. And certainly it would be a very difficult fight for Miguel. But for me, I like challenges and I would love that fight to happen. So he's saying it can be done, but Triple G has to enhance his star power. Now, people hate this, but you see it. Boxing nowadays is a business. It is what it is. And you, it's like I feel bad for Triple G, but then there's things Triple G and team have done in their situation. So it's almost to the point where everybody's finagling and maneuvering to do what they determine is the best for their fighter's career. Like Triple G, it's apparent that they don't want to move up, take the risk, take the challenge to fight Ward at this time. You know what I'm saying? They're talking about catch weight, even though they're going to fight Chavez Jr. or Carl Frotch at the full super middleweight limit of 168. Now Ward, you know what I mean, so he doesn't stagnate his career anymore. He's moving up to light heavyweight, so that fight probably won't happen. But Ward, there's an interview with, uh, I think it's Fight Hub, check it out, where he called Triple G Little G. He says they hung up within five minutes, so the show must go on, and he's decided uh, to move up to light heavyweight, eventually fight Kovalev, sign a new HBO deal. So we probably won't see Ward versus Triple G. But that's the thing. Like, you know what I mean? I feel bad because I think Canelo and team, Cotto, I don't think they really want any parts of Triple G. But at the same time, there's fighters like Triple G Ward where fights could have been made. You guys are on the same network. It's not like Andre Ward with, with Al Heyman. You did the same thing. You leveraged. You said you're the A-side. Ward isn't relevant. Ward doesn't fight. Ward is inactive. This and that. So, you know what I mean? All these guys are really doing it. It's just whatever suits their needs and whatever suits their agenda. You you wanted Ward at a catch weight of 164. You said how you're the A-side and then David Lemieux versus Triple G did piss poor like numbers-wise in terms of the pay-per-view. So, I mean, you can't really blame Freddie Roach. They, everybody's doing it. You know what I mean? It's like getting where you fit in. So let me know what you guys think. Freddie Roach, does he have a point? Do you think Triple G is... I, I do think he's a good fighter. I think he's very hard to beat, especially at middleweight. That's definitely... I, I think me personally, I'm not Freddie Roach. This is my honest opinion. I think Triple G crushes Miguel Cotto. Um, Troy King did an interview. Shout out to my boy Troy King. Check that out. And he said the same thing. And I think kind of for the same reasons. I love Cotto. I respect Cotto. But I think he's very small. And Triple G, you know what I'm saying? There's guys like Curtis Stevens who is about Cotto's size. But I think Curtis Stevens is just a little bit stockier and bulkier. And probably cracks harder because Curtis Stevens used to fight at light heavyweight, if I'm not mistaken, too. So, and he's, he was like a known knockout artist like in, in the higher division. You know what I'm saying? And guys like that couldn't sustain what it took to get uh, Triple G's respect for too long, and then he ended up walking them down and destroying them. Same thing with David Lemieux. Now, I'm not comparing Cotto to David Lemieux or Curtis Stevens, but I know boxing, and the thing is, the fact that Cotto is a highly skilled fighter, I would say he's, he's clearly more um, mentally ready based on his experience and stuff and skilled than David Lemieux and Curtis Stevens. However, it does get to a point when you got an animal like Triple G where just mere skill, unless you're like flawless, it's going to be hard. You know what I'm saying? So I would actually like David Lemieux and Curtis Stevens probably had a better chance because at least they can one punch um, hurt Triple G like badly and maybe finish him. You know what I mean? Versus Cotto, 
I think him being a smaller guy, I just don't know if he has that type of power, especially if they fought at 160. His best bet is to continue uh, not fighting him or fight at a catch weight at 155 and hope that reduces some of Triple G's uh, stamina or power or something like that. But if this, I'm talking about if this fight were to happen in middleweight, I give Cotto no chance. But let me know. Do you agree with the politics and boxing? Do you think Cotto is ready for Triple G? Do you think, is anyone out there thinks he beats uh, Triple G? Or, or is it easy work for Triple G? And what do you think of Triple G's star power after the lackluster numbers in the his fight with David Lemieux? I do know he was at the Dallas Cowboys game. Jerry Jones has taken a liking to him. He has the Apple commercial. So Triple G's future is still bright. They're trying to make a mega fight for him in the Cowboys stadium, AT&T stadium. They're trying to um, network and, and work something out. So um, we'll see more of Triple G for sure in 2016. Will he get the biggest names like Cotto and Canelo winner? Don't know. He might end up having to fight like a Toriano Johnson or a guy like that at the AT&T stadium. But we'll see. Let me know what's next for Cotto. Does he get past Canelo? Can he defeat Triple G? All that good stuff. Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you like my video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off.